everybody and welcome to day three of Bookless. In today's video I'm going to be picking my December TBR but with a little twist, a little Christmassy gift giving twist. So I had the bright idea to wrap all of the books on my TBR as if they were presents and blindly pick them for my December TBR. I am pretty sure that Sarah did this last year and maybe Destiny, so creds to them for the inspo. But I thought this would just be a fun way of picking my December TBR. I do have a lot of physical books that I want to get through in December before the end of the year, but I thought this would be a good way of maybe getting a few of the ones that I've been avoiding off my TBR because then I can't purposely not pick them. So. The next clips are going to skip to me sat on my floor wrapping the books like a crazy lady. So I hope you enjoy and stay tuned to see all of the books on my December TBR. So these are all of the books that are currently on my TBR. They actually aren't that bad, like we're not doing too badly compared to how many were on it at the beginning of the year. How many are actually on here? Okay, I'm going to count them a sec. Actually, okay, I'm going to take these ones off because these... Okay, if I can get in there. Taking these ones off because these are actually all Christmassy books that I want to read in December anyways. Because if I don't read them in December, when am I going to read them? So they are coming off the TBR cart because we are putting these on the TBR anyways. Iron Flame won't fit anywhere because she is a chunky one. So she's just going to have to go up there. But 19. I thought we had more than that, but I'm not complaining. I still don't think I will read 19 books before the end of the year, unfortunately. But I'm basically going to wrap all of these up, all 19 books, and number them randomly. And then I'm going to pick numbers out and we're going to go off that. I think that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to wrap these up. Let's go. Okay, I finally wrapped them all. We aren't even going to talk about the wrapping because I kind of underestimated how long it was going to take me and how time consuming that was going to be. So am I aware that they are not wrapped all that cute? Yes. But do I care? Not particularly. But I'm just going to put them on here and then I am going to randomly number them. And then we're going to pick the numbers out of a jar. I'm going to swap them around that side so we have a little bit more room. But I'm just going to number them all. I'm going to write down on these little tabs the number. And then I'm also going to put them in this. <laughs> it is a Christmas mug because I can't find a jar. So I'm going to do 1 to 19. So they are all numbered on there. Now I just need to do the ones to go in my little jar bowl thingy.
Okay, we are all done. They are all in here. Okay, I'm just gonna mix them up a little bit and just pick one randomly. I think I'm gonna pick about five books just because I do already have some Christmassy ones on my TBR. Okay, first one is number seven. Where is she? Is that seven? Another one. Is that just one? I feel like some of them have got stuck together. Okay. They're stuck together. Which one do I pick? If I just and drop them back in. Okay, I'm not looking. Oh my god, they're getting stuck together. I didn't think about that because of course it's okay. Number 15 we've got. 15. That one. Another one. Try and feel if this took together or not. Okay. Number 18. 18. Is this one? There's so two more. Stuck together. Oh. Guys, I keep on getting the ones that are stuck together. Okay. Number six. Number six. Oh, actually, was that a six? I think it was a nine. Okay, no, wait. I'm gonna go with that one being a nine and not a six. So we will put her back and get her. Okay, I know I said one more, but maybe I'll do two. We'll do two more. Ah, got two stuck together, so we'll just pick both of them. We have number five and number 13. So number five and number 13. So here are the six books that we have picked. I am gonna take a comfy seat and we will go through them. And I will also show you the Christmassy books that are on my TBR too. Let's unwrap them and see what we have got on here. I literally have no guesses. I will say that they are quite short books. I know we had Iron Flame on there, which was a chunky one and Binding 13, which is also a chunky one. So none of these are particularly thick. So I'm guessing that they are shorter ones. We're just gonna rip them open. Okay, so the first one is Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams, is it? The sticker is covering it. I literally only bought this yesterday. So that is the first one on my December TBR, giving all the summery vibes in December. Okay, next one is Another Romance. Once More With Feeling by Alyssa Sussman. I have not heard great things about this, hence why I have not picked it up yet. But maybe December is the time to finally give it a shot. Next up we have, what is this one? Oh, they've really not picked great ones for me. They've honestly picked all the ones that I've been putting off. So next up we have Cleopatra and Frankenstein. This is like a literary fiction with a hint of romance I think I don't really know this has just never really appealed to me full disclosure I bought this because I thought the cover was pretty I've just never really gravitated towards this one next one another one I've really done myself dirty here tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow I've heard really good things about this one it just intimidates me I don't know why pretty sure it's like again a literary fiction about video games but there is like some deeper meaning and it just scares me next up okay we have under the sycamore tree which is another romance these are all very romance heavy i'm pretty sure this is meant to be pretty sad i don't know if it's ya or if it just focuses around a younger couple but yeah i've heard this is really sad so can't wait to cry to that one and then the last book is ninth house again i've been putting this one off this is like a dark academia cross between fantasy it is set at yale but they have like powers i think i don't know dark academia does intimidate me but i do enjoy it so hopefully i will like this one so these are the six non christmasy books on my december tbr that i have blindly picked for myself Hopefully we will like them. Some intimidating reads on here. Some reads I've not really been looking forward to, but hopefully they will change my mind. This is my little pile of Christmassy reads that I want to read in December. We have Love Light Farms. I think this is about like a Christmas tree farm, fake dating, small town, cute vibes. Then I have Murder at the Theatre Royale because I just wanted a cozy little mystery. Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. 
literally know nothing about these to be honest but i just think they are cute little holiday romances just like magic by sarah hogel i think it is and then the christmas bookshop by jenny colgan so they are all of the books on my december tbr stay tuned to see them in upcoming region vlogs i hope you enjoyed and i will see you tomorrow